Hey all, Tony Bing here, long welcome to another Cosmic Trial video for Marvel Heroes Omega. For this particular video we will run through the trial with Star-Lord. So I've recently hurt level 60 on him, and as always with these videos he's just got basic gear on. It's super heroic gear, we've got no special kind of artifacts, he doesn't have a legendary equipped or anything like that, and the whole reason behind getting into the trial under geared is to showcase a build that will help new players and also help them to pass the trial to get into the cosmic difficulty. So what we'll do before actually showing off the gameplay, we'll have a look at the skills and talents I'll use and I'll discuss the rationale for using them. Then we'll do the cosmic trial gameplay and then finishing up we'll show off the gear we've used as well. But first up here, let's have a look at the skills and talents. Skill wise here then we're not actually using any kind of spender, we're by and large making use of these grenades. Now on the subject of the grenades, the first one we're firing off is Gravity Grenade. This is a initial damage packet and it immobilises the enemy for 2 seconds. We then have Cryo Grenade which slows the enemy and also weakens them and it's just got an initial damage packet on it. Next up we have a grenade which provides a dot which is always useful in the trial and this is incendiary grenade so you have the damage packet then you have the dot and it also provides vulnerability. Now I don't normally show off my dash but through talent setup we've got it so that our dash which is called jet dash refreshes the cooldown of all our grenade powers so the way it works is we'll be firing off all our grenades hit dash and then we can fire them all off again and you'll genuinely get two rotations of this in until you have to go over to fire and this will reload all your plasma ammo so you can start throwing grenades again now we skipped the grenade there just so I could show fire and the grenade we skipped was shockwave grenade so it's just a regular initial damage packet it's got no kind of crowd control or anything like that so that's the reason I put this on the second slot because on occasion I wouldn't have enough ammo to cast it and I would rather cast the other ones first now the next skill we have anyway is Elemental Blast and this is great because it actually provides a burn on the enemy as much as it doesn't show on the tooltip and again any kind of burn or dot is fantastic because you can hit the enemy and then start moving around the bus to keep away out of their line of sight while the dot is doing damage on them. Now finally we have Orbital Strike which is a signature, it's got quite a high stun of 4 seconds so make sure you do make full use of this after using it you get all your grenades in and get all your attacks in quickly while the enemies are stunned but next up what we'll do is have a look at the talents we would use so the talents like the skills before them are all really focused on the grenade side of things now the first one is just a generic one, it's versatile ammo and with this it reduces your plasma ammo cost by 30% so that will affect your grenades as well and also your ammo loader gains 50% damage and it always critically hits so that really is quite useful we then have a first grenade power which is incendiary grenade so with this cluster bomb transforms into incendiary grenade we then have rapid escalation so that gives you an additional dash and also when you use jet dash you reset the cooldown of your grenade power so that's vital to this build so we can get enough damage off. We then have high impact grenades so with this grenades do an additional 25% damage the cooldown goes up but that doesn't matter because we're using the jet dash to refresh the cooldown instantly anyway so we're getting all the benefits without any of the actual negatives of this trait so that works out really great. Now final trait we look at is shockwave grenade so this particular one with it it transforms strafe into shockwave grenade so all pretty simple there from the talent side of things so what we'll do next is run through the cosmic trial once that's complete we'll show off the gear we've used as well today. I need to charge up first. Yeah. 
I'm getting readings from his rings. Stay frosty, and I'm not talking about the cold. Ah, oh, it hurts so much. <sighs> So many ways to hurt you. The Mandarin is invincible. Compared to Gamora, I'm a gentle guardian.
Not today. And there we go, that wasn't too bad at all. The amount of mobility we have through dashing about and using the grenades really does help. As we can see gear wise mentioned earlier on in the video, really nothing special. Just regular story mode artifacts, super heroic gear and even with that we were still able to pass it there. We had a little bit of time left as well, so that was great. So as always, hope this was useful. Any questions feel free to ask below and I'll see you all again soon.